That said, some of the humor that he puts into his tours, not with the women specifically, but when he, we were waiting at a, a light, and he says, okay, when this light changes, if you don't make it across, you may not um, all make it alive. So just wait here. Now, the way he put it with that, about not making it alive, was kind of a joke with the theme of the show, of the tour, not the show, but the tour. The fact that we might not all make it alive across was kind of funny because it was like, are we gonna make it across or are we gonna die? Not literally, but are we gonna do it? So that was the funny part about one of the parts of his tour that he makes a little bit of a joke. Uh, so, we all made it alive across the light, but just the fact that he make, made a freaking hilarious joke about making it alive across the light, not, or sorry, 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 that we're not all gonna make it alive across the street. We did, we did. I'll, I'll tell you that for a fact. We all made it alive across the street. <laughs> but just the fact that he made that joke was hilarious. What I want to show you is this right here, because every single one of you, every one of you here, has crossed the boundary. This is the boundary. If I stand here, I'm still in Whitechapel. But if I stand here, I'm in the city of London. Confusing words. If I commit a crime here in Whitechapel, I'll be arrested by the Metropolitan Police. But if I commit a crime here in the City of London, I'll be arrested by the City of London Police. So, ever since I was a small child, walking around these lovely old streets, I used to really want to commit a crime like this. <laughs> just to see who would come and arrest me. But uh, just to relax you about my criminal record, uh, my criminal record is not bad. So now, this tour, I'll tell you straight up, he showed us a bunch of areas. There was one area specific that we couldn't have because it was a long distance away from where we were actually at. We, he, we hit most of the places in where Jack the Ripper was, including the Yee Fine Pan with Tim Bill's Pub and Mitre Square. Those are the ones that were within a, an area that was easy to get to and walkable. It would have taken a lot longer to get to one specific one where it was a far distance away, at least half an hour. Now, to finish off this review, Jeremy was an extremely knowledgeable man, person, knowledgeable person about Jack the Ripper murders, the victims, and how the area was like during the 1800s. Now again, he wasn't here in the 1800s, but he knew what the area was like him growing up and how the area has changed dramatically and one of the joke, jokes he did make was, is it safe? People are asking him to be in Whitechapel. In the 1880s, Whitechapel was the most notorious part of London. Now I've said that, maybe some of you are wondering, Jeremy, is it safe to walk the streets tonight? And the answer is sort of. <laughs> Whitechapel today is a mixture. Some parts are rather lovely now, some parts are still quite dodgy. Most of Whitechapel is in the middle ground between lovely and dodgy. Lodgy, you might say. Um, but in the 1880s, this was hell on earth. You did not want to grow up around here. The life expectancy, about 28 years of age. And he said, yes, it is safe. The way he put it was, he said, some areas were lovely and some areas were dodgy. Lodgy is what he used. His his wording was logy, <laughs> kind of a combination of dodgy and logy, oh, dodgy, dodgy and logy. <laughs> some areas being lovely and some areas being dodgy. He just combined and called it logy. So that joke alone of him saying lovely and dodgy, logy, in the middle ground. Again, when I'm saying that, I'm saying it third hand, so I'm like, I, you know, I had to remember how he put, how this was said to us 
I had to go back and actually listen to the video because I wanted to confirm exactly how he put it. Because again, you, you don't always remember everything they said, so I had to remind myself when he says, lovely and dodgy in the middle ground, logy. <laughs> and the way he hold the whole thing that he said about it was phenomenally awesome and hilarious. So at the end of the day, his, his, his combination of serious subject matter and the grisly realities of how life was back in those days. And then on top of that, how great this area is now compared to what it was back then. But some areas might be a little bit dodgy. It, 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 you get a lot of knowledgeable information from him. A little bit of humor mixed in there. And it just makes for a fantastic uh, tour. Now, he also does say... Uh, at near the end of his uh, the tour about uh, what you would like to do afterwards like go for fish and chips some beer whatever he does recommend um, um, a place to go to there's a couple places that he knows one recommendation was a place called Hoop and Grapes which was uh, I think there was a great fire on that section of building before like many many moons ago which he mentions the, the, the entranceway is actually leaning a little bit. So it's not straight up. It's a little bit of a, a lean to it. And he's not made another joke about being drunk. And if you get drunk enough, you'll see that it's straightened. Again, another hilarious joke of his. Um, but he also says it serves a nice uh, plate of uh, uh, fish and chips, which I'll have in another, um, uh, in another video about that hoop and grapes. Uh, which I will do another review about that place specifically. Now, thank you guys for listening because I wanted to say this tour is phenomenal. Jeremy is awesome. And I heard that a lot of the other tour guides are really awesome too. But I will phenomenally recommend this, play, this tour wholeheartedly best tours in London that I know of. Again, this is the same company that I would have used probably back seven years ago had I went back then, but worth every penny. 15 pounds, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning, but that's okay. It's 15 pounds. You pay online. You get your reservation. You bring the paperwork with you. Talk to them when you get there. Um, worth every penny. Worth every penny. Again, I love spending only 20 well i'm guessing laying around 20 to 25 canadian dollars for, for about an hour hour and a half tour worth every penny like i said it's about an hour and a half tour so worth it i would come back in a heartbeat for this tour and i would try to hopefully get jeremy again thank you very much everybody go see this go take this tour two thumbs up not just a thumbs up two thumbs up make that three thumbs up okay you can't do three thumbs up well unless i had a third thumb <laughs> so go see this take this tour any one of them are great i recommend hopefully you get jeremy worth every penny uh like i said i would go see do it again in a heartbeat which i will be planning on in the future when i go back to uh, europe to london and taking the tour again awesome now we will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.